it's the same point which I do that there's no proper functioning banking um, within the currency area. You know, then you are allowed to point that we are in the currency area about proper functioning monetary and, um, and I do take that point, but I'm just wondering then how um, you say that we should decentralize the, the, the sort of fiscal uh, straitjacket that's imposed on member states. I'm just wondering if we are in a currency union where it's not already centralized fiscal planning um, along with banking planning, how then do you think practically decentralizing fiscal rules would work to be cyclical pressures on governments, which happens every five years or so in Ireland? There would also be um, a build of further imbalances again, I would say. Well, if you ask me what is the optimal fiscal structure for a monetary union. I mean, fiscal federalism is clearly the optimal. Uh, it works well in you know, states such as the United States or Germany. If you then take a step back and you say, um, uh, is it feasible? Um, uh, and if so, on what terms now? I think it's scarcely feasible. You know, the idea, because if you have you know, fiscal union, in effect means a common treasury with the ability to tax, spend and borrow, uh, which in, ten, in turn requires you know, um, uh, democratic accountability. So in effect, what you're doing is creating a proto-state. Do you really think that either French and Germans are going to be able to share a government, let alone Greeks and Germans, anytime soon? And the answer is no. Um, and if you, if, you, if you stay that, then what kind of fiscal union might, might just about be feasible now? Well, Wolfgang Schauble has talked about creating, in effect, a Eurozone finance minister who is a supranational fiscal enforcer who basically you know, is the current system on steroids, he would have the power, or he or she would have the power to rewrite national budgets um, and, and, and keep um, uh, the current system um, uh, even more disciplined. And it seems to me that that is even more uh, undemocratic and even more uh, economically um, uh, unsound. So if you think, well, how short of breaking up the euro do we make the current system work better? It seems to me that moving towards more decentralized fiscal decision making is basically both economically makes sense because it allows uh, governments to um, uh, respond to uh, asymmetric shocks uh, and indeed uh, to choose to invest more if they want to. And it's politically um, uh, more sustainable because it allows proper democratic choice and legitimate democratic choice at a national level rather than to say that every single country in Europe has to in effect abide by um, uh, German or the liberal uh, political preferences, which I think is, um, is not sustainable.